This is a programming and maintenance guide for the RDE20 series thermostat. Firstly, let's run through what each symbol does on the display screen. The numbers at the top of the screen correspond to the days of the week. Day 1 is Monday, day 7 is Sunday. This is the temperature guide which shows the current floor temperature. This is also used when programming the timer. This is the clock which displays the current time. This is the low battery indicator which shows when the batteries in the unit are running low. To change the batteries, follow the tutorial at the end of this video. These two rows at the bottom of the screen show the scheduled on-off times for the element for this day. The top line is the desired floor temperature. The bottom line is the minimum floor temperature. These four symbols represent what the element is programmed to do at the time. If the sun symbol is displaying, it means the unit is set to manually reach your desired temperature. If the moon symbol is showing, the system is running at its minimum floor temperature. If the block symbol is showing, it means the unit is set to run automatically, turning on and off as per the timer. The triangle symbol means the element is running at that moment. The slider bar on the side allows you to choose manually if you would prefer the moon symbol, which is your minimum floor temperature, the sun symbol, which is your desired floor temperature, or the block symbol, which means the unit will follow the preset timer. The plus and minus buttons are used to set the floor temperature. These can also be used to set the time, which will be explained in a moment. Now let's move to programming your thermostat. Setting the time. To set the time, open the thermostat latch, press the clock button, and then use the plus or minus buttons to change the time. When ready, wait for 5 seconds or press enter to confirm. Setting the day. To set the day, Press the 1 to 7 button, and then use the plus or minus buttons to select the day of the week you are on. Once again, wait for 5 seconds or press enter to confirm. Setting the floor heating temperature. First of all, press the sun button. Then you can use the plus or minus buttons to select your desired floor temperature. Then wait for 5 seconds or press enter to confirm. Setting the minimum floor temperature. To do so, press the moon button. Then use the temperature buttons to select your desired minimum temperature or bring it to 5 degrees and hold down to turn it off. Then wait 5 seconds to confirm or press enter. Setting the timer. To set the timer, first move the slider to the top auto position. Then press the block button. This will start you at midnight on day one. Press the moon button until you've reached your desired switch on time. In this case, five o'clock in the morning. Then press the sun button until you've reached your desired switch off time. In this case, nine o'clock in the morning. Now press the moon button until the next switch on time. In this case, 5 o'clock. Then press the sun button until you reach the next switch off time. In this case, 10 o'clock. And then continue pressing the moon button until you reach midnight. Press enter and it will take you to midnight on day 2. You can continue programming until you complete day 7, and then press the block button again to confirm. Checking your floor heating schedule. To do this, press the block button, 
and then you can use the 1 to 7 button to cycle through each day of the week, checking to see what time the floors switch on and off again. Adding or replacing batteries. To do this, run your finger down the side of the unit until you see the lip. Then, prise the lip open, removing the battery cartridge. Make sure you use only AAA alkaline batteries. Once the new batteries have been installed, simply place the unit back inside the console. This needs to be done on average every four years. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 0508 Heatwell or check out our website, heatwell.co.nz.